This one is called, If Jesus Came to Your House. If Jesus came to your house, I wonder what you'd do. Yes, if Jesus came to your house, then spend a day or two. If he came unexpected and just dropped in on you, I know you'd give your nicest room to such an honored guest, and all the food that you'd serve to him would be the very best. And you would keep assuring him that you're glad to have him there, and that serving him in your home is a joy beyond compare. But when you saw him coming, would you meet him at the door with your arms outstretched in welcome to your heavenly visitor? Or would you have to change your clothes before you let him in, or maybe hide some magazines and put the Bible where they'd been? Would you turn off the radio and hope he hadn't heard and wish you hadn't uttered that last loud hasty word? And would you hide your worldly music and put some hymn books out? Could you let Jesus just walk right in or would you rush about? And I wonder if the Savior spent a day or two with you. Would you go right on doing the things you always do? And would you go right on saying the things you always say? Would life for you continue as it does from day to day? And would your family conversation keep up with the usual pace? And would you find it hard each meal to have to say a table break? Would you sing the songs you always sing and read the books you always read? And let them know the things on which your mind and your spirit feed. And would you take Jesus with you everywhere you plan to go, or maybe would you change your plans for just a day or so? Would you be glad to have them meet your very closest friends, or hope that they would stay away until his visit ends? And would you be glad to have them stay forever on and on? Or would you sigh with great relief when he at last was gone? Oh, it might be interesting to know the things that you would do if Jesus came in person to spend some time with you.